Hey, hey. Still, like, just kind of getting ready. So, it's just this. Hopefully, oh, fuck, it might be off a little bit. I think that looks better. Hey, naps. <laughs> Okay, um, thought I would try to play like some demos that were from most of the games that were like all announced at the E3 Indie Horror Game Showcase. Uh, let's quickly just say I'm live on Blue Sky. Um, how's everyone's day been? Uh, well, like, night. Nice. Okay. Uh, what's that? Naps? I did my cleaning today. Well, that's good. I... I like just haven't really done too much today. Uh, I got sun at least. <laughs> Cause I have to keep doing that. <laughs> Cause it accidentally went down too much. Like vitamin D. Uh, let's have a quick look. Alright. Um. Did you, like, did anyone else check out the Ink 3 Indie Game? Or Horror Indie Game Showcase? Okay. Uh, this is just, like, some of the games that got, like, announced because most of the games haven't got demos. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, Ghostasis was, like, pretty interesting. Uh, last. The last, last time I saw you? Yeah. Loveful demo. Project Anandamoli. Anandamoli? Anandamoli? I think that's right. That looked really interesting. It's like a, um, photography game that's like, take pictures of creatures and stuff. Uh, Morn, Morn, Morn was like a top-down type of hack-and-slash game. Uh, I, th I think people have already played that. Um, I heard about it before but forgot to actually play it on a different platform, but it's coming to Steam now. I think you pronounce it like Saturn... Saturnalia? It's Italian. Italian game. That looked pretty interesting. Has like, uh, interesting artwork. Probably maybe start the stream with that one, maybe. Uh, hey, Lou, how's um your day been? Oh, wait, you asked the same thing. <laughs> My day's been like, okay. The weather keeps changing really quickly and stuff. That's what Australia's like right now. Hot, cold, raining, not raining. <laughs> humid, not humid. Uh, Motor Doom uh, looked pretty interesting. You like ride, um, motorbikes, motorbikes, and I forget what they're called. They're like motorbikes that have the sidecar with them. It's like Tony Hawk. That one wasn't announced at E3. That is a different like game. Looks pretty interesting. It's oh, wait, let me read the chat real quick. Uh, what's that loot? It's nice and sunny down here right now. Was well, shit yesterday though. <laughs> Damn. That's annoying. Uh, let me visit the store page. It's one of the games featured with the uh, Game Devs of Color Expo, because that's happening right now. Which is pretty cool. So there's actually like a lot of different games made by... I guess, yeah, Game Devs of Color, people of color. Which is really neat. Um... Yeah, journey through the psych 
Welcome to the Seaside Hotel where the final hour of your night shift awaits. Tend to guests, explore their dreams and lose your sense of self. Time and again in this dark labyrinthine? Labyrinthine? I think that's right. Adventure unravel the path to the truth below. It says it's like hand drawn. It's like, so, it's the artwork. It's all black and white, which is really neat. Uh, so we all have to check that out. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. I assume it would be good. It looks, I like the weird art of it. Because it looks creepy. <laughs> and it's fully in black and white. I like things that do that. Because I'm obsessed with black and white. Because that's all the photography that I do is mainly black and white. I'll sometimes take things in color. Yeah, wow. Um, so Lou looks amazing. Yeah, I love black and white too. Yeah, it's easier. Oops. Oh, goddamn, I accidentally pressed the wrong thing on my phone. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, black and white's easier for me to like. Uh, what do you say? Like, express motions and stuff. We should start with... Let's try Murder Doom. That seems a pretty silly game. Let's adjust the audio. Might be too loud. Uh, just give me a heads up if it sounds... too loud, too quiet. Because I have to keep adjusting it. Probably a good test with the menu with the music. <laughs> Oh, it's a little too post your photography anywhere. I might casually. I post mine on. I used to post it on Twitter, I gave up on it. <laughs> but I post it on Instagram. My Instagram account where that. Blah. <laughs> Song. Oh my god. Uh, I post it on Instagram with a different account I call it Camera Fingies. <laughs> I'm surprised no one had that name. Um, what's meta progression? I think we should do the tutorial. Probably best to do that. Wait, is it like still loading? The controller. Oh, there it is. Right. Like the actual like, three um, announcements said, it's like a mix of Tony Hawk. Right. Yeah. Let me know if the if my voice is louder, or too quiet compared to that music. Let me just quickly share this. Steering and accelerating. Them sign. Okay. Good. Cool. It's so hard, I can't hear my own streams. I can never tell the balance. And even if I do go back to like a VOD and look at one, every game is different, so it's so hard to tell. Uh, is it steering and celery? Hold. I guess that's A. Like Xbox controller. Hold A to celery and steer the back with left or right. Let go of A to jump. Can you change the game platform? Shit. Oh, crap. <laughs> ah, oh my god. Flips in the air. Left, right, up, down. Down plus X. And, okay. I think I was meant to let go of that. Thing. Yeah. Oh. Form and crap. Oh, many crab. Oh, yeah, with bean. One foot. Oh, wait, it's gonna be hard to read. Press up and down to perform a manual. Press down to up to perform a nose. Then you jump on a row and press Y to grind it. From different grinds with different directions. Alright. Oh, whoop. 
Tricks with manuals or grinds increase your combo with the form. Three tricks with combo. Alright, yeah, let's try to do this. <laughs> this is interesting because it's like it's like a skateboard, but you know, um, you know, motorbike. <laughs> yeah, now this is this is the interesting thing. You have a gun, so <laughs> just kind of funny. Yeah. Oh, hold. So I think that's... Oh yeah, left bumper one. Hold, LB and slow down time, start aiming. Use the right and long stick to aim at your target. Tap or hold, I'll be the shoe. Alright. You have to do that whilst trying to do tricks. To kill enemies at the same time. <laughs> Mind tricks and kills the combos and points of the experience bar. Once the bar is filled, uh, filled up, you'll be offered an upgrade. Choose an upgrade by pressing. Oh! Oh shit! Oh, I guess that's how you wipe out. Uh, save a demonic offering. Well, what am I meant to kill then to get this demonic offering? <laughs> There we go, yeah, now it's, it's card based. Which is pretty cool. And you can reroll. The tank ritual performs a ritual during a manual that causes enemies to take 20% per stack of the base damage per second. Increase ammo count by 60%, decreases reload speed by 20%. Jump height increases to increased height. Oh, that was weird. I guess that's all of the tutorial. <laughs> just, I was like, what happened? It just like flicked me out. Oh, gosh. oh yeah, I forgot to say that I'm live on um, Twitter. Sometimes forget because the um, I, I don't use Twitter as much as I used to with other social medias. I don't know what they're saying in that song. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's, uh, let's press that. Uh, what's up? R. D. K. M. S. Monk. Bio. There we go. That should work. I, I don't think there's any settings in this demo, I'm saying, but I assume there would be in the full game. Single run, endless run, free run. Let's do some run. Oh, there, look, Moda dude. Likes to wear Hawaiian shirts, rides a chainsaw driven dirt bike. Bona Brothers. Oh god, that name sounds so weird. <laughs> Bona Brothers. Um. Oh yeah, what, what's, what's his web? Uzi. AK-47 is their weapon. Two undead brothers shoot on Mac layer targets. It's Oymac shooting. That character. Oh wow. Oh! You can actually unlock a character in the demo. That one's not in the demo. Also not in the demo. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna pick the Bona Brothers. What a name. Black Arena. Old factory, an old and abandoned factory now used as training grounds, practice tricks, and killing things. Cultist Church has said that the members of the church are cultists who worship the devil and perform unholy rituals. Nine demo. Nine demo. No. It's cool you can actually see some of the, the levels though. Quick. Uh. Can I move that? 
don't think it lets you pick the difficulty. I wonder who does the music for it. Let's also just um, share in another Discord server that I'm playing these. Oh, there's photo mode. I didn't think there would be a photo mode in this game. It's pretty neat. Let's have a look at further mode. Uh, is that? I can't see my screen, so I'm going to look at the stream mode. Camera up, or down. Whoops. Nah. <laughs> oh, pretty cool that it has a, like, a uh, further mode. Focus, change that, exposure. Frame, let's have a look at the frames. Classic, cinema, I don't know what MW1 means. MW2, what's that? Sticker mode, oh my god. <laughs> wow, let's see all the stickers. It's kind of funny. Right, how do we make them bigger and smaller? that become dark I want to do that. Let's see how this looks. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh. Wow. Whoa, alright. Uh is this Oh hey, hey Amos. Hopefully that's how you say your name. Uh, collect rays. What is it? No, no, this is gaming. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would stream some of the um games I've seen from the Ink Sorry. Not every game has demos, but a lot of them actually do. So that's why I would just play some of them. Wow, I must be killing a lot but keep getting cards popping up. Uh, fire, I guess. Guess I'm not wait, that's the yeah, that's the dev name. Hobo Cat Games. <laughs> oh shit. Uh jump higher. That would probably be cool to have. Game is really interesting. I haven't really played like like a game similar to it. Like the only thing is like um, Tony Hawk, but Tony Hawk never had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh. uh, hey, Minbrook, how's uh, your night going? Maybe she's impressed by 30% refining. Okay. Oh, wait, okay. so I can read the chat. Luckily, this has oil max shooting. Uh, it was a Amos. The burger ended up playing this too after watching Ink 3. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Yeah, I'm happy I had a demo, so. I didn't. I didn't know of it before, um, Ink 3, so... Gosh, there's like, so many games. It took it took me ages to wishlist all of them. <laughs> when I was like, I, I watched the whole thing of Ink 3, then I went back and then started looking at, um... Like, every single game. 
Because it took me, I think it took me like half an hour, almost an hour of wishlisting them and from Steam to Itch. That's how many there was that I, I'm interested in playing. Uh, it was took a couple of ages to make the show. <laughs> yeah, how, how long did it actually take? Was that? The emoji didn't work. Oh, damn. But how long did it take to like plan it all and then actually do everything? I assume it would have taken like a really long time. We uh, spin right. Oh shit. Oop. Holy shit. Uh to quickly like read these. This game's still working even though it's like game is still playing to slow mo. Oops. <laughs> oh it's so interesting. Like how they like um one of the boner brothers is shooting. That name is such a... <laughs> oh god. Let's see... Was it Moss? Again, the Scully prep in January. Got that system running, that... Oh, that would be able to read the chat too. Again, the Scully prep in January. Got that system running, that... That well, the hosting bits were all just one... 15 minute long tank. Oh wow! Pretty interesting. So it took like that long for the Scully prep. Like since January. But. Oh my god! Oh, I thought it could bounce out of bounds. Uh, was it hosting stuff was praised because of the tools development I did for the. Nice, that's cool. Ammo. Yeah, it was really cool. I liked, I liked it because that's probably the first E3 that I've watched. But I have played the Haunted Fest one demo discs. Was it? Was it just this year that I started playing them? I think it was. I don't know why I didn't hear it before. Like last year, unless it was last year when I played one. I can't remember. <laughs> My brain is like trying to remember if I started playing just this year or the end of last year. But yeah, it was really cool. I liked how well it was put together. Oops. But I'm used to playing players while from brain. I wanna actually like try to make my own game. But I'm gonna try to just learn how to do all 3D modeling first and then try to try to do some engine stuff. Oop. Oh my god, there's so many enemies in this. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god. to release a the jump. Oops. Um, never mind. <laughs> oh, I'm wiping out. Um, I was gonna say again. Yeah, I kept like constantly like trying to like tell myself. Oh, you know, I'm trying to make a game's too hard, I shouldn't do it, and then I'm just trying to not think like that anymore. <laughs> uh, cost one hammer, let's go for a stack. That's interesting. Let's 
game is very like chaotic. <laughs> it's my, it's my, did my mic just go off? My God, I think my wait. Test. Is that working? That is working. Captions are gone. <laughs> uh, it's always like some buggy thing that happens with my stream. Yeah, well, yeah, it says my mic's working. Just no captions are going for it right now. It's weird. Um, I was almost got to get back to painting. Oh, that's okay. Um, still in this damn renovation gig. Oh, damn, yeah. I seen you was sharing now, so... Hopefully that goes well for you then. Also, hopefully you have like a nice day then. We you know, try as hard as we can to have one. I hope my mic is working. My captions are just completely gone. Test. Hmm. Why now my captions are showing that they're working? That was weird. I hope my mic was working all that time because I was talking a bit. <laughs> uh. All right. Wow. Oh shit, enemies start getting bigger, it looks like. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> that would've been an actual good combo. <laughs> Oof! Too much chaos. <laughs> Very easy to wipe out. <laughs> How long it said the level was? Like, it was like 15 minutes for a single run, I think. I forget what time it was when it popped up. <laughs> uh, collect radius pickups is increased by 50%. Try that. Oops. Oh, shit. <laughs> Everyone think of this game so far. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, 
have 40 seconds before it like, ends. Shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm like stuck on that box. Like, I knew it wouldn't slow down the, um, the Steam Deck that many enemies. What the hell? Moda Jesus. Moda Jesus. <laughs> that boss. Oh my god, what the hell is that? <laughs> uh, I forgot I should be taking pictures. Usually I do that when I play demos. I just got like so distracted doing tricks. <laughs> So I kind of just like, I just hang it. It's probably a bad one. <laughs> Oops. Increases damage by 10%. I'll just keep doing that. That should help. Damn, so many enemies. <laughs> like, I knew there would be because I'm saying, like, the trailer. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. <laughs> Probably helps to have, um, I guess like a different character for aiming. This is automatically shooting, so that Bowden Brothers is just gonna keep like shooting different things and not like the main boss. Let's say hang right.
Damn, it takes a long time to kill this boss. Uh, I'll be farming a manual damage increase by 30%. Yeah, let's try that. Oh! <laughs> Very easy to stack. Oh, almost gotten it. <laughs> I wonder if there's a quicker way of killing them or just what I'm doing. Uh, cost 100. Fire rate. Uh, that should. That should make it. A bit quicker. <laughs> oh my god, I almost killed it. Oh, finally. Oof! There we go, wow. Take a picture of that. Oh, Bona Brothers. Oh, what a name. Is it killed enemies 2218? Wow. Time survived 15 minutes 49 seconds. Well, oh. reached level 34. Nice, actually did quite a bit. Uh, Alright. Oh, can you actually submit your skull to a leader one? Who the hell has 40 million? Is that 40 million? Mr. Fella. I'm coolest one. <laughs> Zadov, Skyruji, Hyperturf. Wow, all these names. I'm number 15? Oh. How can you look at leaderboards? Insane. Wow, well, that game was pretty cool and interesting. Be cool to see what the full game would be like. Have a look. Uh, I've already wishlisted it, so let's press that. Alright, let's have a look at another demo. Oops. Uh, let's have a look. Um, I'd like to try this one, the project anonymously. Anonymously? Anonymously? I forget how you meant to pronounce that properly. <laughs> anonymously? Yeah. That looked pretty interesting. Okay, before we begin this, I will just stretch a bit and then, and then we shall continue. This, this game looked really cool and interesting from like the trailer that I seen from Ink 3. And like it's a photography game so I usually like a lot of them so because of being a photographer. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, have to respond to a message. Alright, have a look. This should just like run pretty well on the Steam Deck as well. I think pretty much every game that I have should. Mostly they always do, so. Oh no. Oh, okay. Does this have control of support? I know. <laughs> Probably doesn't. Damn, I don't think it does. <laughs> I think that kind of like defaults itself to um, the gamepad, like to a keyboard thing. Let's have a look. Though. Let's just try the gamepad. See if it'll work. If it doesn't, I'll flick it to emulate a uh, keyboard and mouse. Let's hope this works. If it doesn't, then I'll just plug in the keyboard and mouse. It, like, usually works pretty okay, like, with the whole, like, setting a controller as a keyboard and mouse. For some games, some it doesn't work very well though. Sure. I think I think that's the name. Uh, just drink water real quick to before we start. Alright. Um okay, sure. Hello there, new recruit. Welcome to the Anomaly, I think that's right. Research Institute. I am Dr. Shaw, the new director of the new NOAA branch. I am here as a replacement for the previous director. This must be your first day here as the Urban Supernatural Investigator. Let me lead your training session here and explain your main responsibilities. Anomaly. <laughs> I swear I'm saying that wrong. I don't know. The term that we use for creatures that cause disturbances around the world throughout history that are invisible to our eyes. This is usually what the general population refer to them as urban legends, mythology, folklore, cryptids. They have the ability to conceal and re reveal their appearance. This is why some of them got caught in found footage videos. Oh, interesting. Let's see, I don't know if this game is too quiet. Let's turn it up a little bit there. There's no settings of changing things. Recently we had a containment bridge wall which caused the contained anomalies anomalies? Anomalies? Anomalies. To break free, interestingly, there are numerous reports of new unknown anomalies as well. We have a change of direction this year. We will not be capturing anomalies anymore, but now we'll try to understand them by communicating with them. Interesting. Just changes, investigators and researchers work together to learn more about the anomalies. Forces, on the other hand, have recently disbanded from the Institute. Now they still capture anomalies for security reasons. Wow. Should you to investigate and learn more about the anomalies and make sure they don't disrupt our daily lives. As a final reward for completing your training, you receive a complimentary slice of pizza from the. <laughs> nice. That work, don't you? Nice screenshot. Yay! A camera. Does it say beholder? Or is that the whole. The... I had the beholder thing? Like a pun on that? That's the training session. I left the camera on the desk over there behind you. Could you pick it up? Please talk to me after you got. Turn around by moving your mouse. Uh, press the WSD keys to move and press E to take the camera. Yeah, okay. Oh wow, it's th that um, like Doom type of sprite thing. 
with the enemies and the people just follow your vision. Uh, let's have a look at what E is. E should be B. Is that to respond to a message again? Sorry. Alright. I don't know. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Beholder. Alright. Now let's talk to Shaw. Well, what do you think of the camera? Cool, isn't that? Oh. That's the mouse again. Now I'm going to teach you how to use the camera. Use the camera to take pictures of anything that can be used for the four silver cases and inspecting pictures. Also, it's common sense that you have to move slowly to take high quality pictures when using the camera. Yeah, see the controls diagram on Black World next to you. Try to take a picture of it with your new camera. Talk to me when you're done. Alright. Click the right mouse button to enable or disable the camera and click the left mouse button to take pictures. You can also zoom in and out by pressing the Z key. You have a Z key on this thing emulating? We do not. Let's do bumper buttons. Uh, let's change that. Bumper button. To be uh, Z, I guess. Let's have a look. Alright, take a picture of the blackboard, talk to Shaw when you're done. Okay. That, that's the camera. The... Ah, okay, so it's like... Like just a quick zoom, that's it. Not like slow in and out. PDA tab button, alright. WSC move, interact, zoom in out, take a picture with camera, enable, disable camera. You move slow with the camera enable. Makes sense. Uh, what's our tab button? This emulating it. Map, oh, I'm tapping there as well. There we go. Settings. I don't think there's really any settings. What's that? Oh no. Oh shit, I shouldn't have went in that. Uh, how do I exit that now? <laughs> right, I'm screwed. Oh wait, maybe I can just press that. Nope. Hmm, okay. It's an escape key. Maybe that'll exit out of that. No way, yeah, I'm pressing it. Right, it's a little bit buggy. Let's see if I can press anything off out of the menu, the mouse. Yeah, okay, don't go in the settings then. Uh. I have to exit the game and go back into it. I'll just have to restart that again. Just skip the dialogue till where we were. Whoops. I don't know why I did that. That was strange. Like a strange glitch. Okay. Pretty quick. It's not like we're that far, so. There we go, now that we're exactly back to the same point that we were. Alright. Okay, there we go. I'm not gonna go in the settings because I wrecked it. Hopefully this doesn't wreck it either by going into like gallery or cases. Um let's have a look if it will. Thank goodness it won't. 
faces. Nice. Good. Contacts. Good. Alright. Uh, as it's well done. Oh, question mark. Hmm, what was that? The potted plant over there just fell over. It sounds like something has just stepped into the room. Can you take a picture of something that just entered here? Talk to me when you're done. Oh, it's so interesting. It just like things just appear when the camera's there. So. Oh. Great job. Yes, it seems that there was a Lily Kabe all along watching a training session here. The camera that you're holding right now is not an ordinary camera, you call it the Beholder. The Beholder is our special camera that can perceive anomalies which are invisible to the human eye. Be aware that the Beholder still has technical limitations, has limited storage, and can only recognize objects that are not covered by any other objects. By the way, have you used your PDA? Yes, the one that we gave you was also special equipment that we equipped, the, that we developed, which we call the Cognitionomicon. Cognitionomicon? <laughs> well, what name? Okay. Let's just double check this. It's a powerful multi purpose device that allows you to keep track of your received cases, taken pictures, and counted. Anomalies and converse contacts. Check your pictures in your PDA by pressing the tab key and selecting the gallery option. You run out of storage, you can delete a picture in your gallery by pressing the X icon and a photo that you want to delete. Don't worry, you can always retake a picture. Okay. This device allows you to initiate a conversation with anomalies, but only after you took their picture with your beholder. Okay, as part of your next training session, tame the Nuri Kabe and talk to me after you're done. You can talk to it while using the camera. Mm. Good tip before taming an anomaly is to read the enter in the anomaly PDA. <laughs> the hard word. In the PDA, and it might give you some useful clues. Can we take a picture of them? What does that do? Okay, <laughs> hey, so what do we... Okay, wait, let's check this. Is it this thing? An invisible wall that impedes or misdirects travelers walking at night. It has been suggested that the legend of the Nuri Kabe was created to explain travelers losing their bearings on long journeys. Tame anomaly to unlock this info. This is it? yokai, right? It's a yokai. <laughs> Type yokai in origin Japan. Okay. Wolf. Let's play. Uh, sure. Let's play hide and see. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hey. Already, you'll never find me. Talk to Shaw when you're done. Oh, oh my god, did you say it? <laughs> oh. oh, you found me. <laughs> Forgot that you have that special camera. Yeah. Wow. Wow, so you can be mean or you can be nice. Yay. It's <laughs> cute. Thanks for playing with me. Let's play again next time. I'm Lily Kabe. But, okay, I'll talk to Shaw. Oh, there we go. Impressive, you've just tamed the Lily Kabe. You sure have a great potential for a device. Uh, the device? What the hell? Novice. <laughs> oh. Huh, what happened? Another anomaly? I think we should do more frequent security evaluations. Do I have a beholder with me? Do you mind if we could? Oh. Check around here with your beholder. Mm. Oh! Good lord, what is that? Oh, that's scary, I'm gonna take a picture of that. Um, tame the mysterious. Okay. 
<laughs> Looks awful. Yeah, let's say hello. Must devour to evolve. What? Crunch. Uh, not good enough yet. Zap. Ow, it hurts. We'll get you next time. Well. Oh. oh. Why that button? What does that do? Okay, sure. My apologies for this. I didn't expect this could happen. We haven't renewed the fire extinguishers here because we use the particle shields more often for situations like this. But analyzing there from that picture you've taken, the anomaly didn't get registered in the anomalypedia. That's unusual. Alright, let's get back to training. <laughs> the horrible creature. <laughs> uh, when you fail taming an anomaly, some anomalies escape and some of them could attack you. Wow. Don't worry, you can always come back later in a different shift during an investigation. I haven't introduced you to... Oh, how would you pronounce the name? Hole? Or just hole? 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 I think that would be hole. Hole? Maybe? Or who? I don't know. Might be a sign H. Uh, don't know if it's here though. Maybe just hole? First, if I had anomaly to work with investigators, it would be assisting you during investigations. Oh. Maybe just, maybe just say ho. Not, not in that kind of way. Ho? Ho? Maybe? Hey, hello, I'm, hello, I'm ho. Nice meeting, uh, I'll be your, let's say your, yeah, partner, throughout your new career. <laughs> I'll be following you around, floating on the right of your shoulder while you go investigating the cases. <laughs> so cute. Let's take a picture of him like that. If you get knocked out during investigation, I'll pick you up and you will be transported back into your room. I am small but I can lift heavy weights as heavy as a food truck. I'm not saying that you're heavy though. <laughs> Really quiet in investigations, you won't be as annoying as assistants in video games who constantly ask you to listen to <laughs> Oh, that's, I don't think I'm sure that's kind of funny. So obviously, you won't keep like, like, uh, what's the word? Annoying? Us? I guess constantly like, trying to like, um, forget the word for it. But like, constant like, dialogue, I guess. Alright, to be fair, I don't know how to solve cases, because I'm just a... Um, how would you pronounce that? Ahu? 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 Maybe Ahu? I don't know. That might be Ahu. Ahu? Ahu. Maybe Ahu, I think. I'll leave that up to your partner. Well, guess you go finish your training. See you soon. Thanks. Quite an interesting fellow, isn't he? Okay, moving on to your last lesson. Your task as an investigator is to solve cases. Okay, some cases require you to take a picture and present it to the client. Some cases require you to investigate and tame a specific anomaly. And then talk to the client to report your findings. This training, I'm assigning you a test case with Buh, where you have to show me a picture of the current director of the Anomaly Research Institute. When you're ready, talk to me and submit your own solved case. You can also check your received cases by pressing the tab key to open your PDA and select case. Alright. <laughs> where am I meant to go? Let's have a look at those cases. First case to turn. Bring me a picture of the current director of the Anomaly Research Institute. Mm, who could that be? Is it me? Take a picture and present it to the client. Isn't that... Isn't it them? I think that one person in the room, isn't it? Well, I'm going to solve the case. This for solves the case. Is it sure? Or am I confused? No, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was quick. Congratulations, you've completed the case. Now it's time to conclude the training session. Remember, this is just a test case, which means that the real cases would be more challenging than this. 
Knock, knock. Hey, we're here. Well, they're here just a moment. Mm. Brown's not pizza. Pizza? God, pizza. The delivery man, but I have another surprise for you. Not the only open supernatural investigator here, mate. Wes? I think that's Wes. Wes? Or maybe Wes. Maybe as they sound. Wes. Wes. Wes or Wes? Wes, I think. Wes and Blair. Hey, uh, I'm Wes. Great to have you here. I'm the best guy, I also do research on anomalies. I was heavily involved in the development of the database behind Cognationomicon's Anomalopedia. Gosh, all these words. <laughs> They're really like tongue twister words, I feel like, for me. I'm excited that we're going to focus on gathering data for anomalies instead of capturing them in this time. Looking forward to publish a new paper this year about the appearance rates of anomalies. Hope you'll have a great time here and congratulations on getting a new job. Why don't you introduce yourself, Blair? Okay. I'm Blair. I'm also an investigator just like Wes capturing anomalies, solving cases and stuff, but no more capturing anomalies this year. Yeah, like goth. Which is pretty cool. Oh, and welcome to the investigation team. Wow, yay. Uh, all the, the, all the interesting things are happening this term. It would be really cool this was my first term. New direction, new certified anomaly stuffs. I wish I had a certified anomaly as a partner. That'd be a lot more interesting. I am playing them for Wow. Damn. Oh no. Uh, anyways, we've just received a new report about a new major case in the East Burn. Burn. Great timing. This will be your first mission I can sign to. Forget that. I meant to like, every time I say like I'm playing a demo, I say it underneath like my post. Could do that, but. Might be kind of hard with, with everything. I guess I'll write it after the stream. Just write these all the demos we played. Just received a new report about a new major case. Oh wait, yeah, I already read that. Oops. Uh, if you need to find some clues about the major case, feel free to talk to them on the investigation. Or before your first. First? Go. First. Investigation, try to introduce yourself to the other lab members so they can help you. Inspect pictures based on their area of expertise. Hmm. Alright, pretty cool. Mine count new anomalies <laughs> after submitting relevant pictures for their research. We'll be waiting at the lobby downstairs. And I will open the portal to your first area of investigation. Portal? Oh, wow, that's weird. Oh, wow, look at that map. You got to press anything on that? It's just there. Alright. Huh, that's interesting music. <laughs> oh. Observatory. And classroom, observatory. E, there's, um... I don't know how you say the name. Maybe it's Hill. Hill? No, wait, no, it's not L in the name. They were all Hill. Ah. Uh, Q? Maybe? Paul? O O? Oh. This looks interesting. Yeah, let's talk to him. I feel like too close. <laughs> uh. Hello. Oh, what's it? What? Are you hungry? I'm good, I just ate some churros from the cafeteria for breakfast. Oh, churros. Oops, actually I bumped into them. Ah, let's talk to Wes. Hey, uh... So, what's with all these papers? Are these... The, all these papers are in fact my research paper. I'm still organizing which part should be included and which part should be cut. Okay, cool, cool. Can we jump? I don't think we can jump. Probably be no point in jumping in this game, I think. I think. Uh, let's take a picture. Archives. Clinic. Oh. 
get vaccinated. Nice. Uh, uh what's the name? Shell. Oh dear, are you the neurocrew? I'm Shell, and I am the medic at the Anomaly Research Institute. Well, as you expect from what a medic does, I treat patients in case someone is injured. Ho, ho has been really helpful picking up injured investigators here. Other than training my patients, I also do my research here. And I have formal degrees in medis medicinal, medicinal chemistry and surgery. I'm interested in anomalies and how they could contribute in modern medicine. My experimental medications might look unorthodox to you, but my patient's safety is my number one priority. Just like this syringe that I designed, which was made of a leech's mouth as a natural anesthesia tool, all my procedures are painless. Wow, it's weird. <laughs> Found something that seems I'm sick or any mysterious substance, I can do a diagnosis on that further later. Oh, so you take a picture and give it to, give it to her. My dear, congratulations on getting a job. I hope you'll have a great time here. Thanks. Okay. Mm. What other areas of the cafeteria? And there's no. I guess we can't take coffee. Well, did that just. Did I just like glitch back? Yeah, I did. I swear I did. <laughs> that was weird. Wow, this area is huge. Have a look at these. There's another character over there. Let's have a look and talk to him. Oh, uh, Rod, Rodling, Rodling. That's how you say their name. Greetings, welcome to Anonymally Research Institute. I'm Rodling, and I am the ling linguist. Yeah, linguist. Yeah. Study languages. I recognize about six thousand languages, and my specialty is in ancient languages. Gosh, imagine being able to speak that many. That'd be so cool. Wish I could speak like a lot of different languages. Be able to just talk to anyone then. Institute needs me to keep track of documented anomalies throughout the history of humankind. Interesting fact about me is that I went to the same university as previous director. Yes, we were close friends in college. Other than studying the ancient languages, I supervise archives at the lab, and I also make comics. Oh, and I thought that they had a drawing hand. Of course, I'm not going to exactly use the findings here as source materials, just some slight changes. To be fair, people can't tell what's real or not, trick lies in the eye of the beholder. It's no pun intended with the camera that investigators use. <laughs> Anyways. Bring me pictures of transcripts, manuscripts, or glyphs of a foreign language I can help you translate with them. Sincerely welcome you to become a part of life. Wow, okay, cool. I wonder if, like, like that's one of the artists that draws for this game and they put themselves in it. Let's... Let's have a look up here. Ah, oh, this is the observatory, right? Ooh. This thing, uh, what, is, what does that say? Do not know what any of that says. I wonder if that actually means anything. Math, not even once. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Zig, Zigmund? Zygmunt? I think that's a name. Hey, yeah, I'm Zygmunt. I am the astronomer here. I mean, I'm a performing guitarist of Matrix Arc, but I don't know if kids these days still listen to our songs. I document astronomical, ast well, that word just went astronomical and extraterrestrial activities here. I also still play music with my custom keyboard slash guitar that I made, the Star Man. <laughs> wow, that's cool. What's wrong with having two different hobbies? Having a good time doing them, I don't want to stop at all. You say something extraterrestrial, something waiting in the skies, don't freak out. You can show them to me and I'll see what's happening. Please always show your work in metric units. Imperial units are dumb. I measure the distance of a rocket ship to Mars in football business. <laughs> wow. 
I'd say welcome to the wall, but after all we're just bricks in this wall, but we're cool in the wall. Wow, all the all the like puns are old music. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. I think it's that way. That leads to the to the case. Go to the lobby downstairs, talk to Short to open the first portal. And I swear it would be where is Shore and Rin? Oh, wow. Offline? Oh my god, these are the portals? <laughs> like, it's like little chambers. Oh, there they are. Okay, hello, I'm gonna help you introduce yourself to Lab MC. I'm sure they're happy to see you as well. I think I talked to every single one. Pretty sure I did. Okay, hello, well, hello again, I hope you, oh, I already read that, yeah. Let's get working shifts that consist of two parts a day, which I can select on their own. One shift lasts for six minutes in real time. What? Wow, that's really quick. <laughs> time passes when you're not interacting with an object. Take your time when reading the dialogues. Oh, wait, was Time passes when you're not interacting with an object. Yeah, take your time when reading the dialogues. Yeah, so it freezes time. New no sit the no no <laughs> new no in the city that never sleeps. Things will change over time, some events, clients and anomalies only appear at specific times. Ooh, cool, that's pretty cool. It's kinda like Pokemon, but not. <laughs> I think you're done for the day, you can always kick back and relax for the next part of the day. Or you can return to that by selecting the end shift option on your video. Oh, that's pretty cool. There are reports of a gigantic moon appearing in East Berlin. <laughs> but like, like Majora's Mask. Go to the East Burrow portal and select your ship. Won't be seeing the hints on the top right panel anymore. Because, well, the know it is yours to explore on your own. Okay. Now, off you go. Best of luck to you. Whee! Okay. Menacing Newton. Yeah, that's definitely like Majora's Mask. Zelda. Alright, do we, do we pick? Let's pick Dawn and Day, I guess. It's pretty cool. Oh, let's see. Aceboro, known for its lush bamboo forests and cherry blossom trees around the temple. Has a vibrant marketplace that sells local crafts and treats. You can find the best ramen in Nunoa here. Alright. It's nice. 